So when I initiate a hotel review, I contemplate everything is evident and comprehensible. If the housekeeper departs without ensuring cleanliness, leaving something like this behind, an absolute no-go. Where have I landed once again? You have informed me and explicitly stated, here is a hotel, a Marriott located in Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand. Just give it a try, it could be quite nice. There have also been positive feedback. Then I said, okay, I will take a look at it and see. And I must say, I am truly shocked. If you do not enforce your demands in this specific situation, you will not obtain anything at all. Therefore, it is logical to clearly express one's desires from the beginning. The sole aspect that I genuinely appreciate in this location is the scenic outlook. All other aspects I would mention, such as committed staff members, but merely a smile is insufficient to establish a specific level of quality for a hotel. In this Marriott Hotel, situated in Bangkok, Sukhumvitsoi 57, this is genuinely the hotel in the area that I am actively trying to avoid in the future, and that I no longer have a desire to visit, because it truly does not bring me any joy or satisfaction whatsoever. It is so negative. It is frightening that these hotels are still functioning, but they are full. Indeed, this hotel is truly brimming with holidaymakers enjoying their vacations to the fullest. And of course, it also depends on the price. That means you can already get a bargain price here starting from 100 euros per night. Especially in today's time, when you know you are on the go a lot. That is already a price. That is already okay. That's why I understand that's where package tourists come from. That's where business travelers come from. And I see that in the lounge area. Having a business lounge is not everything. Additionally, cleanliness is underground. The quality of the breakfast, food is normal, average and of medium standard. I genuinely express business quality. Presently, it initiated with me that I arrived a bit later in the evening. Then I thought, OK, that's a good sign because they already know who's coming today and which rooms are available. I didn't want to go straight to the luxury hotel because I thought, okay, then I'll use the Marriott Hotel, come here, check it out, test it, and then inform you how I personally feel about it. Women there are nice, but I'm going in, asking, is there a check-in in the lounge? Then the question started, yes, we don't know. Oh, yes, of course. So they accompanied me to the lounge. That's already good. Would actually be a five-star standard. But we're talking about a real business hotel here, maximum four stars. Here is a maximum four-star Marriott hotel in Bangkok. And the area here is nice and you can quickly get started with the subway, but nothing special. Really a bit far from the end if you want to be in the city. Then it began that we went to the club lounge. It was completely full. I mean, really full of these business travellers. And then I waited. No one came. I thought, OK, I'll take my suitcase, go downstairs, then just check in downstairs. In an emergency, I leave. So when it's bad... People there were kind, they registered me. I then, and I mean this, as I said at first, you have to request it, drove to a suite because they confirmed, yes, we upgraded it to deluxe. What about the suite? Then they provided me with a suite located on the 40th floor. Floor directly near the club lounge, so I can walk over, walk back again. Could be described as pleasant. However, it is near the elevators. Is all this a bit behind here? Also, you can close this bedroom, as you can see. And then it's quiet. So I haven't had any disruptions. I slept well. That's not important because then we'll go to the hotel. And it was at that moment that I waited there in the club lounge. And then downstairs, I clearly stated what is. Then they gave me this suite. I went up, thought, OK, I'll manage this overnight stay somehow. If I do not hear really good positive feedback now, I simply will not do these hotels anymore. Let's have a conversation about cleanliness. Only the trash can, it seems to be located underground. It has not been cleaned for weeks, months, and so all the little details are everywhere. Just the thought of having to sit on this plastic non-slip part that you put in the bathtub alone is enough to make me cringe. Look, I am already experiencing a state of shock. This part is already so horrible that you placed it there in its entirety. And it is also the little things, like the lamp here, for example. I mean, it cannot be that this lamp... Look, they just cleaned up, did not just perform that action. They do not have any visual perception. Then this Tissot box was accompanied by these small pieces of cloth. It simply will not be refilled again. I mean, that cannot be. You have to notice that. And then it was about towels. So I had towels brought to me again because there were only two towels for me. I mean, there should actually be eight towels in a suite with a battery for four people. But no, I also believe that there is endless cost-cutting in these hotels. Also here with status, 
if you are a pure business traveler here, you have gold status, you can stay here. Or maybe you just want to stay here for a week for business or just a little bit, then you can stay here. But for people who have a bit of a luxurious demand, who value cleanliness, who also care a bit about service, then it's better to pay 20 or 30 euros more and it will simply be better. Yes, here I'll stay for one night. I'll extend for two or three more nights, but not in this hotel. I'll go over to the Athene Hotel. This is my favourite hotel where I have to say it's OK. Yes, I would say the Marriott Marquis is better. However, this hotel personally did not bring me any joy. It is not a hotel that I would want to return to for future stays. And from the side, yes, there is currently a tour of the room available and there is absolutely nothing more to say about this hotel. Noku is truly exceptional.